how do I know whether my company is compliant? Do I even know what risks my business has? And if I do know, how do I know I'm making sure I'm not going to come a cropper? I'm Lee Childs. I am the GRC practice lead for Rangu. GRC landscape's changing every day. It's becoming more complicated. It's becoming more and more important to be on top of it with GDPR and California regulations and New York uh, data privacy coming in. Every day is more complicated. Every day uh, companies are struggling to show that they are compliant and fit to work in the new business world. Our methodology is adopt and adapt. Mm -hmm. We hope that the customer will adopt the tool mm -hmm. uh, as much as possible and will adapt their processes to see the best value from that. Mm -hmm. And we really are trying to work and guide them through the workshops, through our development with them, through consultancy, uh, when we just sit down and, and, and talk and guide with uh, the wealth of experience we've got and the understanding from the customers we work with, what works and what doesn't. How do I know whether my company is compliant? Do I even know what risks my business has? And if I do know, how do I know I'm making sure I'm not going to come a cropper? Governance Risk and Compliance and Vendor Risk Management helps give you a picture of where you really are and the difference between this tool and other tools is you actually get to see it against real things. You get to see it against your business units. You get to see it against your applications. You get to see the risks that you worry about and the controls you have in place to, to mitigate those risks. And then you can prove your process and you can enhance it to the point where you you're on the front foot, not the back foot, dealing with something that happens. And then on top of all of that, we have to prove to an auditor that you are compliant. So that's where the power comes in. You've already done the hard work. You've got your policies in place. You've got your controls in place. You have your risks mitigated. And then an auditor comes in, you just hand it over to them and say, here it is. Here's our evidence. Here's our real world in life. Here's what we're doing. So you don't have to fill in those spreadsheets and send them off to SharePoint like so many customers do. Uh, it saves time, it saves effort, and it frees you up to actually focus on what's important.